Question number 18, part A. A bus uh, moving initially at a velocity of 20 meters per second decelerates uniformly at 2, two meters per second square. Determine the time taken for the bus to come to a stop. So we say the time it will take to come uh, to come uh, to stop to a stop is t is equals to v minus u divided by the acceleration. Uh, we say that the acceleration is equals to uh, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So it's just cross multiply to get time. So this is equals to uh, the final velocity, once it is stopped, it will be 0, minus initial velocity is 20, divided by acceleration, which is 2, and this will give you uh, minus, uh, that is uh, minus 10 seconds. Minus 10 seconds, uh, you ignore the negative sign, uh, so you say it is uh, 10 seconds, it is equals to 10 seconds. Uh, so, Paloma number two, sketch the velocity time graph uh, for the motion of the bus up to the time it stopped. So, you can just use your free hand to draw. Uh, so, I'll just use, uh, I'll just say that is a graph. Uh, then we have, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, then we have, uh, this is a, uh, uh, velocity uh, meters per second and uh, this is time so it took uh, it took uh, uh, 10 seconds so you can say that is 5 uh, this is 10 it just a sketch uh, then we can say initial velocity was 20 uh, so we have uh, this is uh, 10 and you can say this is 20 so what it means is that uh, it started uh, from 20 and it stopped at 10. So that is a, uh, that is a sketch that you can make. Uh, you don't need to use a scale. Uh, just uh, uh, use your free hand. But uh, you need to draw something that makes sense. Uh, we go to the next part. And uh, use a graph to determine the distance moved uh, by the bus before stopping. Uh, so this is a graph. Uh, the distance is the same as the area under the curve. So we just say it, uh, it is a half, half base times height. Uh, the base is 10, the height is 20. Uh, so we just say uh, uh, that is a distance uh, moved is equals to area under graph. And area under graph, we have said it is a half. Base is 10 multiplied by 20, the height. And this will give you, uh, this will give you, when you compute, you find it is 100 meters. So that is uh, the distance. Uh, part B, we say uh, we are told a car of mass a thousand kg traveling at a constant velocity of 40 meters per second collide with a stationary metal block of mass 800 kg the impact takes three seconds before the two move together determine the impasse uh, so once the the car hit the the stationary metal block they have the common momentum. Uh, so the momentum of the car, so we say momentum, that is M1 multiplied by V1 uh, should uh, plus the momentum of the uh, stationary uh, metal block is MV2 is equal to the momentum of both combined. So we say it is M1 plus M2, that is mass 1 and mass plus mass 2 multiplied by the velocity uh, so this means that the first momentum is a thousand kg you multiply by the velocity is 40 it is equals to 
Uh, no, before we go to that, we say it is plus the second momentum. Uh, weight is 800. You multiply by the momentum here is zero. Uh, so you are supposed to add the two, and that should give you the the total mass, which is uh, 1,000 uh, plus 800 and you multiply by the velocity so we are looking for velocity uh, so velocity is equals to uh, you get uh, once you compute this you get it is 22.22 uh, meters per second that is you divide 1000 uh, times 40 uh, you divide by 1000 plus uh, 800 uh, you'll be able to get you make v the subject uh, we know uh, v is equals to u plus a t uh, that is the uh, that's a formula we use in uh, linear motion to get the final velocity so this means that 22.22 uh, is equals to initial velocity we know we have it is 40 multiplied by acceleration acceleration we have been given uh, we have uh, we have calculated the the acceleration of uh, an stationary set move determine the impasse so we have uh, we have we don't have acceleration actually that's what we are looking for so we say time uh, it took three seconds uh, so we have acceleration so acceleration is equals to uh, when you compute that you make a the subject you get it is 55.93 meters per second squared this is deceleration uh, minus deceleration uh, so once you get uh, the deceleration then you say force uh, impasse force is equals to ma which is equals to now you get 1800 uh, you, you multiply by the acceleration which is minus 5.93 and you'll be able to get 10 the 1067 1000 10674 newtons you ignore the uh, you ignore the minus sign uh, because this is a uh, this is a quantity uh, so you don't need to uh, you that's why you ignore the uh, because actually here the negative uh, here represent deceleration so it is the same as uh, instead of writing five point uh, uh, five minus five point nine three you can write uh, five five point nine three deceleration uh, so that's the same as that so that's how you work out that question and you'll be able to get full marks